Lesson 2, the Quick Access Toolbar. In this lesson, we'll take a look at the tiny row of icons on the Quick Access Toolbar. This toolbar is important because it's the only toolbar that is consistent. It's shown no matter which ribbon tab you're on. We'll take a look at moving the QAT below the ribbon, how to customize the QAT, several different ways for doing that, and the importance of checking out the group called Categories Not in the Ribbon. I'll also show you how to set up some workbook-specific QAT icons. Well, initially, the QAT starts out as these three icons up above the ribbon. Save, Undo, and Redo. Now, the first thing I like to do is to move the QAT from above the ribbon to below the ribbon. We'll right-click and say, Show Quick Access Toolbar Below the Ribbon. The advantage here is it's a little bit closer to my worksheet grid, plus there's room for far more icons now across the QAT. The basic concept is that as you find an icon that you think is important, for example, wrap text, we can right-click the icon and say Add to Quick Access Toolbar. Now we always have access to that icon. So as you go through the various ribbon tabs and find icons that you think that you will use a lot, you can add those to the Quick Access Toolbar. Now, there's a better way to customize the Quick Access Toolbar rather than finding the icon. You can right-click and choose Customize, and we get to the full-blown dialog box. In the full-blown dialog box, you can rearrange the icons by moving them up or down. You can also access several different groups, so you can find things that are on the hidden context ribbons. You can also look at the group called Commands Not in the Ribbon. These are important commands because these are things that you will never find in the ribbon, and if you ever used any of these, you're going to need to come to this section of the Customize dialog box in order to add them to the Quick Access Toolbar. For example, in one of the last lessons, we'll talk about using the text-to-speech items. And so if you need Speak Cells, we'll want to add that to the toolbar. Now, most of the time, when we're customizing the QAT, we're adding it to all documents. However, it's possible to have certain icons that only appear in a certain workbook. So let me just choose a few of these. Add, add, add. These icons will only appear when we open Lesson2.xlsx. You'll also notice that the top of every group is something called a separator. You might want to take the separator and add it to the top of this group so you understand the difference between the icons just for this workbook and the icons that are available for all workbooks. We'll click OK. And now you'll see these three icons are here, but they're only active when I'm in Lesson 2. If I would insert a new workbook, those icons go away. When I switch back, the icons come back. It's kind of like setting up almost a little custom menu bar specific to that workbook. It was very easy in the old version of Excel to drag icons around the, the toolbars, add icons, or even create your own toolbars. Well, it's not so easy now in Excel 2007. The only thing we can customize is the Quick Access Toolbar, and this concept of adding icons specific to one particular toolbar is as close as we're going to get being able to create custom menus without going out to learn XML in order to create new ribbon tabs or ribbon categories. While the Quick Access Toolbar is your only consistent interface item where you'll be able to see all of these icons as you go from tab to tab to tab, it's important to be able to add new items to the toolbar. A couple of ways to do that, remember, just right-click and say Add to Quick Access Toolbar or use the Customize dialog to get full access to all of the icons, even the icons you may not be able to find in the ribbon. Well, I hope you found that helpful, and thanks for watching. Looking to advance your career by acquiring new skills? Tired of expensive off-site training programs? Wish you could learn from the best instructors in the industry? Look no further than Live Lessons. Self-paced, personal video instruction by the world's leading technology publishers. 
Each live lesson comes with a DVD featuring three to four hours of instructor-led classroom training, sample program code that allows you to work along with your personal instructor, and an example-rich study guide. Live lessons allow you to watch the entire course from start to finish or navigate directly to any of the individual lessons. You'll literally watch over the shoulder of your instructor as he shows you how to build state-of-the-art applications. Live lessons, the power of the world's leading technology experts at your fingertips. To learn more, visit mylivelessons.com today.